All right, ladies and gentlemen, starting this uh, match right now, we have Brian Parks versus Ramin Bakhtari, and they've been warming up for a couple of minutes here. This is from the one loss side at the Mez West 8 Tours third stop in Diamond Billiards in Fresno. I'm sitting here with James Harris, and I'm going to step away just for a second. This will be an even race to eight, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, it is an even race to eight. All right, awesome. And uh, I just have to handle one thing, and then I'll be right back with you, James. Brian Parks versus Ramin Bakhtiari of Go Play Pool. In fact, we want to thank Go Play Pool for uh, their support of the Mez West State Tour as well. And we encourage you to download the uh, Go Play Pool app for your phone or tablet so that you can figure out how to go play pool. Check it out. We'll be right back. James Harris. We'll be uh, keeping you company for a minute. abandoned you. I know, I noticed No, that. no, 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 I have to talk Just to Desiree. Say, I'll, be, I'll be two minutes. Here's the mic, I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, be, I'll be two minutes. Gotcha. Even race to eight, right? Yes.
All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick scoreboard update. Looks like 2-0, Brian Parks. 2-0, Brian. And uh, I want to thank you guys for... Actually, make that 3-0, Brian. Just banging in, in there with me. 3-0. And... Hope you guys have been nice to James Harris in the audience in the chat room there. And... Actually, I didn't say a single word. You didn't say a single word. I'm not used to talking to myself. Actually, now that you're back, I'd like to say a big what's up to a bunch of people listening, watching in uh, Bakersfield. John Allen, Brian's fiance, Sarah, Brian Poe, Mike Kaiser, and Chad in beautiful downtown Burbank. <laughs> so what about your buddy uh, Rodney? Rodney Morris, man. He's been, Rodney uh, was in Japan. He's been all over the world, man. He was in the Philippines as well, wasn't he? Yes. Guy hasn't been home in like three months. Yeah. We were hoping to see him at this particular stop, but I guess at the last minute he booked a trip to Asia. Yep, been in Japan for I think like the last week. If you excuse me for a second.
Uh, Mr. Uh, Tang Ho is about to join the, the booth here. Hi everybody. I'll tell you what, Ramin earlier this last game, uh, Brian uh, Ramin scratched and Brian Park had ball in hand and uh, Brian obviously uh, went brain dead for a second. He was about to shoot the three and Ramin. Did you see that? <laughs> yes, Ramin, I did. yeah, got out said, you know, stop him from it. That's I mean obviously they're buddies, you know, have respect for each other. You know. But anyways, if I have any hat I'll take it off to Ramin. But uh, he ended up winning that game. Dang, you're uh, still battling through this thing too, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a wood chopper, man. Just <laughs> chopping away, sir. See what happens. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been fun, you know. It's, Tang's uh, been playing really well. Hopefully you guys get to see him on the stream here real soon. Yeah. It's, uh, How'd that last match go with Santos? Um, I think it's, I, I play fair and he played kind of bad, you know. Yeah. Something, yeah, he's like, something was bothering him, you know. It's kind of weird. It's like. I mean, I never seen him like he missed the ball. He said, uh, "I, I, I, I gave it to you." You know what I mean? I just gave it to you. But see, but uh, I don't know. I mean, whatever that means. So I said, so I asked him what you can see in the match. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? No, yeah. I, I don't want to win like that. Man. Oh yeah, no one does. Nah, man. Nah, you gotta earn your keeps in this world. But, uh, Looks like somebody out there is asking about your poker adventures. Oh, um, 
Oh, poke chocolate wine, huh? Man, never had that before, but <laughs> um, poker. You know, poker. It's it's a game of chance, but you know, it's I'm doing okay. You know, for what it is. You know, you know nobody wants to hire me uh, from nine to five. You know, I eat too much. I take too many breaks. <laughs> too many lunch breaks. Yeah, exactly. Too many. You know. So, anyways, but uh, it's all right. You know, poker's all right. Maybe one of these days I'll step off a big number. You know, playing the poker tournaments. They're so tough though, but uh, anyway, let's get back to pool. Brian, you know, Brian Park, he lost early yesterday, didn't he? He lost his very first round, the oh, Ramon wow. Mastica. He's won like seven in a row. Bro, yeah, it's like he's like he's on a mission. He, uh, he caught a little gear yesterday and just played real great. Be a lot of people 8 0 8 1. No, I believe it. I mean, he's. Yeah, it looks like he's just cruise control right now. Yeah, he's, he's flowing real well right now. Yeah, and that table plays on, it's, uh, it's not the easiest table no, either. the table's miserable. Yes, <laughs> but he's got a diamond at home, so yeah. yeah, it helps. You're not crossing the entire street, you know, you're just going onto a sidewalk. But no, it's, yeah, especially sometimes when you get on the loser's side, you know, you catch that gear and it's like, you know, you, you fall into that zone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Just because fully you constantly focused. get to play back to back to back to back to back, you know, where on the winner's side, you play a couple matches, you wait, wait. So, but, um, looks like Ramin's changing the break. I don't know why. He, he was making the corner ball and the one on the side from the other one. I don't know what he's doing here. With open bridge? Oh, okay. Well, I think he scratched a couple times and uh, he got jacked up on one break, missed the whole two ball, and then the second break he made a couple balls to scratch. Right, but but the reason why he's scratching because he's coming off a, a scratch angle. You know what I mean? You just change that and you know avoid a scratch. But I still don't like this break. Oh, you don't horrible opening shot here. Um, yeah, he's... he lost his cue ball right there, so. Hey, thanks. Um, yeah, it's good to be back, you know. I can be, I'm, I'm reading, uh, wow, play 100, 200 commerce all day, must be nice. <laughs> Man. I used to have that kind of BR back in the days. Yes, yeah, sir. Happy Sunday, everybody. Wow. Sure is tough to draw your ball on this table. Brian Parks is such a Tiger Woods fan. I don't know if anyone's noticed. I think Chad from Burbank noticed. He wears red on Sunday when he's still in the tournament. Oh, really? He calls okay. it his victory red. There you go. Well, hey, whatever works, you know. We all got to believe in something. He made a pretty shot right there. Nice smooth stroke. Yes. He's playing with a lot of confidence right now. Yeah. You can tell by the way his, his, uh, his stroking arm. And, yeah, wow. Yeah, but see, with that miss, you had you to know, do something with that ball. Yeah, though. that shot is. On a straight in, you got to draw your ball on this table. It's, it's no, not fun. All weekend I've seen this table just spit balls back onto the table trying to draw it. That's right. Sleeping at hard times. Yep. <laughs> I think every pool player slept in a pool sometime right. in their life. Right. I, yeah, I believe uh, Melissa Hurden won the hundred for the top female finish. Yeah, she did. She yeah. was uh, she was the last match last night about one a.m. Right. She had to play um, Oscar. Oscar. Yes. She actually put up a good fight against him too. Yeah, you know it's uh, Melissa. Don't worry. She she makes you earn it. She plays hard. Well. 
Rami needs to get out here if he wants to get back in this match. This is a big yeah. game right here. It's huge. Huge. He's got a good chance to just roll this in, get on the six. Yeah, just, just going beyond the rail. A little high. He should be all right. You just let this go back and forth. Yeah, and just go back and forth, and you know, just because whatever angle, you know, on from the seven to the nine, it's pretty good. Unless you get like really funny, but I would just concentrate on making the six. Oh, he's gonna kill this ball with outside. See, I, that's I, the problem with that shot. Yeah, right you got to hit it crisp. Yeah, but in order for you to hit it crisp, you need to just hit with that flat, high ball. Right. Yeah, you put that side spin on it. You know, this table, you know, it'll just no, that's no good. Draw back, play short side, or you try to do something with the cue balls? No, I think I'm just going to follow it, just like that. Oh. Well, let me follow it, make it inside, of course. Yes, you could do that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but I probably would prefer a little straight in, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah, I think he shot that ball wrong. I would have shot it inside like that, but probably be straight in, bad speed. That's why, that's why he's on the screen right now. All right. Lucky nine ball. <laughs> lucky, yep. lucky. Well, he gets away with one there. Yeah. That was pretty gross, though. <laughs> I mean. Hey, we all get him. Yes. We just hate to get him, get him against us. Yeah, you know, it's... Want to get back in? You sure? Are you having fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know me. I, I'm a chirper, man. I chirp away. <laughs> Brian's been complaining about his break for about two weeks, and it looks like it's been working for him these last six, eight matches, whatever it's been. No, he's, um, I, I like his um, break tempo, you know, very semi-controlled, you right. know, just make that corner ball. I mean, it's, he's got a good chance to get out here straight in on the one. Four, six, a little difficult. Very difficult, four, six, but if he gets good right now, yeah, he's on the wrong side of it. He's got one pocket, two pockets. I don't think, uh, yeah. I would just, you know, just try to see if you get a good angle. If not, you can always play safe off it. Oh. Looks like that's what he was planning. If you made the one, roll the two up, use the seven, play safe with the four. Yeah. You rattle that one ball. Like here, you know, I wouldn't really mess around. I would just make the one, two, probably play safe on the four. You got there? Yes, they're both going to eight, so. Hey Tang, what player you admire most? Um, wow, you know what? Um, hmm. I admire the pool players that are, I don't know, like, I guess, um, you know, do some good with their money, you know, help 
you know, support the family, whatever, kids, whatever, you know, instead of just blowing it, you know, so. But, um, hmm. I, I do like to watch Efren play, you know. I mean, I, I'm always a big fan of Efren, you know, at his best. Uh, Efren and I, I had, I had a chance to go on the road with Efren for a couple years, so, um, you know, I, I really like Efren, you know, boosty, those guys. But anyways, uh. Looks like you're about to play bank shape here. Um. Bank shape? I don't know. Well, maybe he can roll underneath it. Yeah, roll under six. yeah he's rolling under six. Yeah. Let's see. What is seven? He's drawing this ball. Yeah, I see. That works. I think he's partially hooked, but he could make the cushion first escape right here and kick the four towards the the seven six. You know what I mean? Gotcha. One yeah. rail, yeah, like that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the only way he's gonna sell out is he, he puts the four on the rail because the, the four is out open. You know. Yeah, this is a pretty good safety right here. Plus, you got a chance to rehook the guy too. Don't worry, the stars are lining up right here. Oh, excuse me. No. Wow, he almost made that ball. You know, it's, that ball would have gone on 99.9999999999999. Can I say nine? Nine, 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 nine of the tables in the world. I mean, yeah, this table's brutal. I mean, I was, are you kidding me? I mean, and he hit it with a good pace, too. It's nice like he fired it, yeah. But that ball. Ramin definitely needs to get out of here. Yeah, chocolate wine. I friend, man. He, he's a good man, you know. He's, he's good for the game. Humble, you know. Not flashy, you know. Supports um, a lot of people, you know, with his pool winnings, you know. I mean... So uh, you're in the final four on the winner's side, correct? Uh, yes. 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 Yeah, I play. Uh, I win my next match. I get to play for the hot seat. Man, it's uh, you know what's funny? I I, I don't win. I, I don't. Win. You know, it's like I'm in position to do well, but yet you know I just want to have fun and just and make them like make them tight. You know, make them nervous. You know, what I mean? like right. put a little heat on them. You know, yeah, what I mean? exactly. Like, I live for that. You know, you know, I've been watching. Make them a little weak. I've been watching all weekend some really good players. Once the heat's been put on them, start dogging some easy you know, shots. But see, but that's, you know, we're all human, man. Exactly. It's, you know, it's, you know, it's, but the key is you need to be able to apply that pressure, you know? Right. Yeah, because if you don't apply that pressure, they're just going to cruise control. Start freewheeling and just yeah, you know, get loose on you. Yeah, it's. Doesn't look good for me. Ryan's got to come uh, with a little something. All in the final four. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I I know Vamos, myself, Ernesto, and somebody else. So I'm not quite sure. But uh, I think that uh, Vladimir. I think he's. Oh, still Vladimir. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's who I'm playing next. Vladimir. Yeah. I call him Vamos. Vamos. <laughs> no. Pretty good leaf out of it, though. Yeah, you got away with that one. Yeah. You know, if I was a Ramin here, you know what? This is one of those shots where, yes, you probably could play safe, but you know, but if you make it, you know what I mean? It kind of pumps you up. Put you back in it. You know what I mean? I mean, you ain't supposed to make it, but you know what I mean? Show some heart. Just go ahead and just, just spin this ball right in and just go and move on. It's easy for you to say. No, I'm just saying, but you know, it's, <laughs> this is one of those shots where, like, you know, you wanna you, you wanna fight a little bit. You know, you need to make this. You know. What's he doing here? Is he spinning this? I don't know. I think he's banking it. Oh no, he did. Exactly what you said, try to spin it in. Yeah. 
I think I would spin it to the right side because there was less less travel. Right, right. You know, yeah, the other way. Exactly. The way it was, it seems like it was very, very severe of a cut. I don't know. What do I know? Meanwhile, this is no hanger here. Boy, you just made a good shot right there. You think? Wow. Boy, look at that. He ginned it. <laughs> I think they put it in the tapes and it's still beyond their wish. It's got a chance to score next to What is the score? Six. Six one? Yeah. So you guys hit that uh, number number three copy, hit that, and then to the score. Is that how it is? Um, yeah, and then you gotta refresh it, like unclick it, and click it again. Oh, okay. So we'll click. Okay. Change the score. Change the score. Okay. Gotcha. And then just. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. I keep on getting one drop of liquid. <laughs> oh, here, look, here, look. <laughs> Robbie moved his break again. See, I like that break better. Oh, that's a better break from. Yeah, you control the cue ball a little bit better. Got a good spread. Yeah, corner ball for two reds. Position is pretty natural here. Yeah, you gotta make the three in the corner. Oh yeah. Yeah. Some, some yeah, two rails. Two ball back and forth. Yeah. Everybody loves kung fu fighting. <laughs> Yeah, see that particular shot, you know, I mean, it's okay shooting like that, but rolling it, you know, you just have to put a firm stroke where if you just like, you know, hit with that little outside and run around, right. you can hit the ball with a better stroke, you know, and the position was better. That's what uh, Rod Dane tells me. He likes playing three rail shape on everything because he can hit as hard as he yeah, wants. Yeah, because, shape. yeah, because all those kill stroke and all the follow strokes, like, you know, especially when you cut a ball and you got to follow it, roll it. It's tricky, man. Right. Because, you know, you're at mercy at the table sometimes, you know. One little skid and you're done. Yeah, he got good there. Yeah, it's dead perfect. I guess Brian is hitting the K pretty often. What's, what's the K? What is that? The K? Yeah, hitting the K. Uh, oh, um, it's got a man cave in Oh, uh, man cave. Yeah, oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Box, right, a right. Nine footer. Yes. They actually just reclothed it, too. I got you. Man cave, yeah, a little pool. Must be nice. Yeah. It beats paying 100 bucks an hour to practice. <laughs> Jeez. You know what, he likes these shots though. It's just every time we sit there sparring back at home, he just... What, two? This is Inside no English. 
Yeah, I mean, this is definitely missable, you know what I mean? It's, this is missable. Oh, definitely, yes. Yeah, I, mean, I like it shooting uh, towards the lower corner. Yes. He's going three rails with this. Yep. Good to get that. Pretty sexy sports fan. Meanwhile, this is this nine ball. No he yeah. wanted to hit that a little harder. Believe it or not, he needed to hit that a little harder. You know, to get this, off that rail. Yeah, this is definitely makeable, but it's definitely missable too. Right? Not for Brian. Nope. Stay down nice on that ball. Well. Brian's on the hill. All right, y'all. Nice chatting with everybody. Have a happy Sunday, everybody. And uh, I'm getting ready for my match. Go get him, Tang. Right. Good luck. All right. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. James. <laughs> I'd like to say congratulations to Phil Prentice from Sacramento. He had a good run in this tournament and cashed out. I mean, hit that ball a little light, got a little underneath the eight ball and he wanted to.
Good seeing you. See you on Facebook. All right. See ya. Bye. Oh, boy. Where's Daniel at? Boy, a little nudge of the rail. Fuck it. Threw that pocket out. Sorry. Where are we at, James? It's uh, right on the hill, 7 1. I've just been told Brian's girls are watching back at home. So, hi, Maddie. Hi, Jordan. Seven two. I'm sorry. Uh, Brian just jot up nine ball. Seven two. Oh boy, flew the table. Yeah. He's been moving his brake all over the place. Might be over here. I know Brian's not happy about missing that nine ball last game. Tough shot, though. Super tough. I think the pockets on this table are the same as Bellflower. It's just uh, this table playing a little tough. Yeah, these uh, this diamond is four and a quarter inches. And, and what is it at uh, hard times? The diamond is four and a quarter. And the Bellflower? But the Repcos, the Repcos are tight. They're a little tighter, I think, like four and an eighth. You know, four, four inches, four and an eighth. Some of them, not all of them. I did notice that uh, a couple of them were pretty tight and, you know, a lot of those hard times pockets. Or you're talking about hard times sack? No, hard times bellflower. Bellflower, yeah. Your boy just had a stroke with four ball, hooked himself in the five here. underneath the five and played safe. Shot, Brian. Tried to put a minus six there, hit that thing really soft.
got good here on the eight. Three rails come back. Oh, he came up short. Cuba looked like it skated. Coming off that second rail. Yeah, which is odd. I haven't seen a lot of skids today, or even yesterday. I was talking about that. What a nice Pretty shot. Good. And that's going to end it, folks. Shoot, Brian. Brian, Brian Parks takes it down, and uh, that's going to do it for Ramin Bakhtari, who comes in the uh, top uh, 24, I think, comes in uh, 18 through 24, 19 through 24. No, he won his match earlier. I think he's in the top 16. Top 16? Yeah, okay, top 16. he did win a match this morning. Yeah, he won All a right. match this morning. Great. So, uh, thanks again to these guys, and thanks again to James Harris for uh, stepping in the box. Uh, we want to thank all of our uh, sponsors on the Mez West State Tour Mez Cues, West State Billiards, Marty Carey's Jump Cue, Virtual Pool 4, Fast and Loose Designs, and uh, also the Turtle Rack and Zan Tips. Also, special thanks to AZ Billiards for their help and promotion of this didn't play that bad. tour. Also, we want to oh, thank it's brutal. I'm saying it right here. It's brutal. NYC Grind, Professor Q Ball, The Pool Scene, and Don Ackerlo at uh, On The Break News. Thanks a lot, guys. We're going to be right back with another match. Stick around. See you soon, Bakersfield. See you soon, Bakersfield. <laughs> Thanks, James. <clears throat> And by the way, uh, be sure to check out povpool.com for real-time updates of who is winning and losing <clears throat> and who is left in the brackets for uh, today's final 24. The final 24 of the Mez West State Tour stop number three here at Diamond Billiards in Fresno, California. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>